Hey everyone, this is your Phoenix, back to do another energy update for the sign of Sagittarius. Just keep in mind, these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. So let's get into this reading and see what is happening for my Sagittarius collective. So for a lot of you, you've been in some type of competition with someone. So someone is definitely having this envious type of energy towards you. This person could be a friend that is pretending to be a friend. And they have actually been blocking you away from meeting your divine soulmate. But that is about to change. You're about to enter into a commitment that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And this is a commitment that is going to be long term and successful. Yeah. You have been hurt in the past by someone. So you've been separated from that person. Or that person cheated on you. Yeah. And it wasn't the first time that they cheated on you. So this person may have done it a few times. Yeah. But you kept staying. You kept staying because you were obsessed with the person. Or you were codependent on the person. But you had a change of heart and you decided to choose yourself in the situation. You decided that enough was enough and you deserve better. Yeah. Now this person that betrayed you or lied to you has been reaching out to you or been trying to reach out to you. Either through text messages or phone calls. But I feel like for a lot of you, you walked away from that situation and that's done. Yeah, now that you have decided to walk away from the situation, the toxic person who has cheated on you is chasing you. But that was a karmic relationship you guys were a part of. And although you wanted that person to commit to you, it wasn't happening. And instead of they got better, they got worse. So you decided to let go of that person. Accept your heart was broken. And you decided to walk away from them. Yeah. You decided to move on from something that wasn't working for you. That wasn't working in your best interest. Something that was very toxic to you. Yeah, you spoke to your friends about it and they may have told you that was the best decision for you. But you have been happily single for some time, I'm hearing. So it's like walking away from that uh, cheater. Yeah, you stayed by yourself for a minute. But now there is a relationship coming in for you. So you need to prepare for union. Yeah. Yeah. Your past person may have strung you along for a long time. They lied to you. They deceived you. But then you found out the truth about what they were doing. And you said no more. You were done with this relationship and this person. Yeah. You decided to focus on you. To make better choices for yourself. To do some self-care. And just to be overall healthier. So it's like you just decided one day to just cut this person off. But it was after you found out a lot of truths. And how much this person lied to you and gaslit you. Yep. Yeah. So you and them, it's, it's definitely over. But there is someone new coming in for you. 
someone that will want to take you out, will want to date you. This might start off as a friendship, but they are totally in love with you. They are highly attracted to you. And they love the fact that you are giving love to yourself now. And they're coming in to give you commitment. Yeah, you are their dream person. You are the person that they have wanted to be part of their life. Or you are the person they've dreamt of to be a part of their life. While your past person, there is no more chance for them. You have grown, you have evolved, you have changed. And you're no longer willing to have that toxic person in your life. So even if they try calling you or meeting up with you or texting you, yeah, that's done and over with Sagittarius. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, so the new person coming in, the new relationship coming in, sees you as their dream person. <clears throat> The, you are everything that this person has been looking for in a relationship or in a person. So this is some really nice energy coming towards you. So although you may have been betrayed and lied to in the past, wow, what is coming in is a full-on commitment. Someone that sees home and family with you. But you may be closed off to a connection. Four might be significant. Four, four could also be significant. Yeah. But someone is coming in with a love offer. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer for some of you. But there is an offer coming towards you. That will turn into higher levels of commitment. That will turn into, yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to see this coming. You're not going to see this coming. But whatever has been hidden or whatever you've been hiding is about to be exposed here. Yeah. So this person is coming in mature when it comes to love. Very emotionally stable and very abundant. Yep, like I said, very abundant. So this person may be a business owner or may have come from money. But this is someone that is looking for stability and you fit all the criteria, you check all their boxes. Yeah. They could live a distance from you. So this could be um, like they live in one country and you live in another one. It could be long distance for some of you. Yeah. But this is going to turn into marriage and long-term commitment for you. So for a lot of you, you might meet this person while you're traveling. But there will be forward action on this person's behalf towards you. And although you may have waited a minute to find this connection, this is your forever connection. Yeah. So you have been in this Queen of Swords energy where you've been cutting out what no longer serves you. And in making space by letting go of things that were not in your highest and best interest, you made room for this person. Yeah. Yeah. So you may have had a lot of struggles in the past when it came to relationships. So you probably didn't fit well with a, with, with a few of the people that you have been in relationships with. But that cycle is closing off and a new one is beginning. Yeah. Now when this person comes towards you or starts being interested in you, you might miss it because it's not something you're looking forward to. Because you've given yourself this sense of independence this living life on your own being happy being on your own yeah but you're going to have to make a choice here enter into this relationship with this person or remain to stay single forever that can be an option as well but you have glowed up and you're very attractive to this person and the fact that you know what it is you want 
yeah it's even better so for a lot of you like i said you have gone through a lot of stressful relationships and now that you're on your own and you're by yourself and you're taking care of you some of you may not want to give up that so you're going to be faced with a decision but you have to be truthful to you are you ready for a relationship or is it just something that everyone is doing yeah because you may have options here wow okay yeah you may have options here and for some of you you're still emotionally unavailable because you've gone through so much in past relationships but those relationships were designed to teach you so for a lot of you you've been betrayed you've been lied to you've been manipulated but at the end of the day you've been heartbroken and yeah so it's like you're afraid to love again yeah but this person coming in is your divine counterpart so they too may have been hurt as well could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag but yeah this person and you you complement each other like I said you are everything that this person has been asking for and hoping for you are or you will be their wish fulfillment their wish come true and they are going to be very direct and straightforward with you but there will be no toxicity here this person coming towards you has dealt with their own demons and now this is a divine connection coming in to you because you deserve it it's a new contract as well and for a lot of you it's a brand new beginning yep so this is a new beginning happening for my sagis here but it is a new beginning in love but this person has been searching for you across continents i'm hearing So that is interesting so you and this person will definitely be from two different countries what else does Sagittarius need to know what else does Sagittarius need to know yeah so some of you may have lack and doubt happening still in your orbit it's time for you to know your worth and value because there is a stable offer coming in to you could be from a taurus Virgo, capricorn for some of you but this is harmony this is flow this is stability coming in here for you you're not going to have to wonder where this person stands yeah you have gone through a lot of change and transformation in your life and now it is your turn to do some traveling and exploring but you have been hurt so deeply in the past that you're afraid to trust anyone again yeah but this person coming in does want commitment does want home and family does see forever with you yeah yeah so you are everything that this person has been dreaming of and you embody it perfectly but for a lot of you, you're still going through some trauma facilitation where you're experiencing some dark night of the souls. Now, that was brought, up, brought to you to bring you to a safer place, to a more spiritually evolved place where you let go of ego and you let go of pride and you let go of all these things that were holding you back. Now you're in line with your purpose. You're living your purpose you're definitely looking to your north node for guidance as to where you want to be but for a lot of you you're fighting between your purpose and your comfort zone but change is coming in for you guys travel is coming in for you guys and meeting someone that is ready to give you everything that you've been asking for in a relationship is here as well so the separation between the both of you is over 
and a lot of you have been doing some self-care, some trauma facilitation. And it is time for you to celebrate yourself when it comes to love, when it comes to commitment. Yeah. So don't sabotage yourself here with limiting beliefs. Because this person will truly love you. They will nurture you. There will, there will be a lot of compassion in this relationship. And this is a new contract that the universe is bringing to you with this person. So now you're going to be set free from all the karmic lessons you've endured, all the lessons you've endured altogether. This is a new beginning for you. So it's time for you to take that leap of faith and release the old and surrender to the new. Because this is a love of a lifetime. Yep, and here you are, the bottom of the deck. So it's time for you to start living your best life. With someone that sees you as their dream person. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.